The Border Patrol Pay Reform Act has bipartisan support on Capitol Hill, and Monday, head Border Patrol Union officials visited the Rio Grande Valley sector to promote it. Does it result in some less money for the officers themselves? Yes, it does. And these men and women have spoke up and said they still support the legislation because they want stability in their paychecks. Union officials say the legislation will cut agents' pay by six to seven thousand dollars a year. But if it's not passed, agents could face a 25 percent pay cut as the existing administratively uncontrollable overtime is set to expire. It basically equates to 25 percent of their pay, but it's the way the law is written. It's, it's not a guaranteed pay. Pay reform would revamp the pay system, allowing agents to put in hours that some say are needed to secure the border. It'll also give agents a set number of hours by choosing between three pay schedules ranging from 80 hours to 100 hours per pay period. It works out to about straight time, uh, and you know, Border Patrol agents aren't, ups they're not really upset about that, that we're, we're not getting time and a half currently. Uh, but they, they want to be able to do their job. Right now, there are gaps in coverage along the border as agents in their shifts. And I think that's something that the people here in uh, the Rio Grande Valley are concerned with. The legislation is projected to save the government $1 billion over a 10-year period. In McAllen, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.